But I think we would all agree that transparency in youth ministry is a really good thing. It's an essential thing. Teenagers can be, they can be clueless about a lot. And you can manipulate teenagers very easily with your words, especially if you're a guest speaker. But if you're living among them, it's pretty hard to trick them because they have finely tuned crack detectors, right? They can spot somebody who's living an inauthentic, dishonest life. So if we all agree that transparency is a good and essential thing, I started thinking as I was putting together my thoughts for this talk, why is it that I and many of us in this room have such a hard time being transparent in ministry? What is it that keeps us from it? If we know it's a value, if we know that it's important, even essential, what's our hesitation? What keeps us from naming our failures? What keeps us from unearthing and talking about our doubts and questions? What, what keeps us from embracing our ongoing need for Jesus? And as I thought about that, what came to me for my own life, and maybe some of you will resonate with this, what keeps me from transparency is my constant need for control. I, I want to control everything. I feel insecure or exposed when I'm not controlling the situation. I want to control my reputation. I want to control the program. I want to control the kids, even though I know that's not really possible. And the craziest one of all is that I so often try to control God and the movement of the Spirit of God, thinking that somehow I can accomplish that. Folks, I'm convinced that transparency in youth ministry is the fruit of right theology, I need Jesus. Combined with humility, I don't know everything. And an understanding of how teenagers are influenced by my life more than my words. 